Hi guys, it's Nick Varios and welcome back to Fashion School with Nick Varios. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to drape this advanced pleated bodice. Okay, so before we get started on the draping, I want to show you this gown. It's one of my gowns. In fact, this was worn by Debbie Matinopoulos to the Golden Globe Awards on the red carpet. All right, so this looks simple enough, right? The pleated draped bodice, but it belies how complex it is. Wait until you see what the pattern looks like after we drape it, all right? And I want to talk about how to create this look, but we're going to start out with what's here, and that's the under bustier part, this bodice, this torso bodice. So we're going to drape that first, both the front and the back. See, hi, peekaboo. And then this piece that, as you notice, goes from the back all the way to the front. No side seam. Oh, okay, so let's start. Now, for that basic bodice in the front and the back, you're gonna need two pieces of muslin. Cut out pieces that are 16 long by about 13 wide, and draw a one inch mark, kind of like the grain line, about one inch away from the selvage, all right? And that'll be your center front, and that'll be your center back. So do that, and then you can begin draping, all right? I've already done that. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the first one. As you can see, right here, you have the front. Oh, and by the way, mark the design line right here. See how the gown is strapless, all right? So I've marked that strapless using a marking tape, and I like the red, all right? And so I've taped the whole strapless part. See, all the way, right there, all right? That helps me to know where that ends, okay? Where the neckline ends, okay? Or where it begins, <laughs> all right? So here I have my piece of muslin, 16 by 13. Draw that one inch mark right here, and you're gonna pin that one inch grain line right to the center front, okay? When you pin, remember, do not stab, all right? So you can just pin kind of at an angle, or see, sometimes this doesn't really work, watch. See, it's kind of flimsy, it comes out, all right? So a lot of times with that first pin that you put in, I like to do the slide method where you slide it, all right, and then slide it back out. Go through the form, okay, and then slide it back out, just like that, okay? All right, it's kind of like sewing, when you're sewing there, all right? So you can do that for the first, but then for the rest, you can just go ahead and then pin a little bit sideways, about an inch away, an inch and a half away, and just do that all the way down the center front, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, make sure that it's the center front. You can see the center front right here, and you wanna stop about the waist right there, okay? Okay, that's good enough. Now, because this is gonna have this draped bodice, I don't wanna mess it up with anything. Notice I have just a center front seam, and hidden in here, there's a dart. But you don't wanna mess it up. This should be clean, all right? At least, that's what I like it to be. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna drape this, the neckline, right there. Smooth it, smooth it and then pin, do that side method because that'll really stick in there, okay? And now you've got this. What happens with that? That becomes your side dart, so watch. Lift up and you wanna smooth, you wanna smooth this to create your dart. Look at that! All right, now this is what we call a French dart or a side dart. It's just one dart and we'll take care of this. So just fold it, fold it, and I like it there. It goes to the apex and so it's gonna be hidden under all that draping and then just pin right there okay now pin to the side right there okay now what do we do here well clip and oh all right so watch right where my grain line is I'm gonna clip and then now see all this buckling watch what happens it's magic okay do it in one inch intervals right to the waist, look at that. Okay, now watch, look, look, look. See all that? Okay, watch. One, two, <gasps> voila. Look at that, keep doing it, okay? Okay, and then now, you've got this extra here, so watch. Smooth, smooth, <gasps> look at that, it's magic. All right, so keep pinning, keep pinning. All right, and if you have to put a little more into your dart, go ahead right there. All right, and that I think looks pretty good. Now you can pin your dart this way, or if you want, 
do it this way, where you pin here all the way to there, and that's the fold, okay? And that'll be the excess right there, all right? So, I think we're done, we can kind of mark. Now, if you want, you can also mark this right here and clip it, so watch. I'm gonna just do that, a little smoothing, you can do it again if you want. All right, and that's good. So now you're ready to mark, so just mark. Now I'm gonna finish right here. Just pin the dart so you guys can see. Okay, that looks good to me, all right? Get your Sharpie or pencil and mark. Start with your neckline. I do little broken lines. Go to the side right there. Side seam, mark it. You can feel out your side seam right there. Feel it out, feel it out. Then right at the waist, put a little cross mark at the waist and then you can feel out your waist right there, okay? And then mark your dart. See, right there, that's the first fold. And then underneath, see, go underneath, mark right there, and then continue marking down. That's it, that is your front bodice. Cut the excess, cut to about an inch away from it, okay? So this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so you guys can see it better. Right there, do you see that? Look at that, okay. Cut that out, front, and then here, 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 and here. All right, we've got the front. Now, time for the back, much simpler. Okay, now for the back, I've got my other second piece of muslin, 16 long, 13 wide. I drew my grain line right there. It's gonna be the center back, one inch away. So then place that mark right at the center back, okay? So place it, go a little above the neckline. Do you see that? Don't all go here, okay? Because that's too close. Always go a little bit extra beyond, all right? I remember a lot of my students would just pin right here. And then I'm like, hello, what you gonna do about that? So make sure to always just go a little bit above your neckline. So if your neckline was up here somehow, then go up here, all right? So don't forget that. So I'm going above it and then pin. Now remember that first pin, you can just do that, but I like to do my slide method because that really hunkers it down, okay? So just slide it through and let's see, there we are, all right? And then continue down the center back in about one inch intervals. Okay, now see how this keeps flipping? You can just hunker that down right there. That'll help you a little bit with the draping, okay? So it doesn't bother you, okay? Because you want to be like, get out of the way, <laughs> all right? So keep pinning about one inch to one and a half inch intervals, all right? Make sure that your grain line is straight down the center back and stop at the waist because you notice this inner bustier look, so easy. You've got the seam line, the waistline right there. So you want to stop right there, okay? And so we're doing this, okay? And now, just like the top, the front, just drape that top section. Just drape it, smooth it, smooth it, smooth it just like that, and go to pass the side seam, just like that, okay? And now, what's happening here? You guys know what to do. Clip and ah, down here, all right? So start in the back, right there. Start clipping and ah, all right? Continue clipping. Oh, look at that, look at that. All right, continue it. And you're sort of draping and clipping. Do you see that? Do this until you get to the side seam. Just keep clipping and then there you are. You've got to the side seam. It's almost like creating a little skirt, <laughs> a little slash skirt. So that's how you drape. And then now smooth to the side seam. Just smooth it, smooth it, okay and pin, pin the side seam, all right? If you need to cut any of this extra so you guys can see better, I'm gonna do that right now, okay? I'll make it easier, okay? So it's not so annoying. Okay, see, just like that. And then cut all this out, see? All right, so you get a better view. You got that? Now you can cut a little bit of here, don't go too close, and right there, and, um. Guess what? That was it. <laughs> That's the back, all right? One simple piece. Now, you know that we're draping just one side of the back and one side of the front. Why? Because this inner torso bustier is symmetrical, all right? So you don't need to waste your muslin and your time doing it once again, because it's the same, all right? Final thing, mark it. So mark the neckline. Thank goodness for that marking tape, because we can see right through it where it is, and get to the side seam, stop. Then mark your side seam, 
right there. And then at the waist, always do kind of an L, like a cross mark right there. And then right at the waist, broken line. And there we are. Now to make it just kind of clean it up, watch, I'm gonna do this. Just kind of makes it a little better for you guys to see. Fold that under, right there at the side seam. Do you see that? Okay, and then pin, pin, pin. You can also, you know, slide it through if you want like that okay and there you are and then just to make it kind of cuter and more even i'm going to cut this look at that and then cut it even um all right guys that's the inner bustier right there and now we're ready for the drape <laughs> Okay guys, now you're ready for the big leagues. <laughs> We're ready to drape this pleated bodice, okay? Now that you've done the inner corset bustier area, that's this part right there, now we're gonna do this drape. Now notice that there's two. There's one and two. So we're just gonna drape one side because the other side's the same one, okay? It's basically the same thing. So when you drape that and you've got the pattern, you cut it, cut two for the other side. And also notice that this drape comes all the way from the center back to the front, almost the side front right here, all right? And that's how we're gonna drape it, okay? So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a piece of muslin that's gonna be 18 long by about 26 wide. You can give or take an inch, all right? But again, it's kind of like a rectangle almost all right and you're gonna draw a straight grain line about nine inches from the edge all right so if you want to know what that looks like it's like this okay this is the 18 by 26 and then nine inches from here draw your grain line all right and it will all make sense okay now you've got your form you've got your neckline right here and we're ready to drape all right now I like to start off by having the grain line that you see right there, okay? See, right there, that's the grain line, okay? Isn't that pretty? Okay, you're gonna mark that right on the side seam. What? Not the center front, not the center back. Yes, the side seam. That's where you're gonna place it, okay? Right there, just stick with me. Now, what you wanna do is from the top, measure about three inches down. Do you see that? And then you're gonna place it right here in the underarm, right there in the edge, okay? And you're gonna, like I like to say, hunker it down, okay? Use your pin, okay? And do the sliding method, okay? Go through the form and then through the muslin and back out to like that okay so it stays there see it's not going anywhere it's better than just pinning it down all right all right so you take that and then now smooth the longer part do you see that side smooth that longer part to the front okay and you want to smooth smooth up here just like that okay and you're going to pin right around the center front and now you're going to start your pleat there are four pleats as you can see right here see one two three four okay so you're going to start this first pleat right there okay so fold up just like that using your forefinger and your thumb to start your pleat okay you can take the pin out if you want to help you with that see just like that so start folding it with your fingers and I think, I think that's okay right there. And then put the pin back, okay, right there. And now take this and you're gonna come around the neckline all the way to the center back using your hands, your thumb, your forefinger, folding it under. You wanna fold under. The fold under is as much as the pleat itself, okay? So you're folding under, see? See, I'm touching underneath. Do you see what I'm doing right here? You just fold and smooth. You fold and smooth, fold and smooth, all right? So if your pleat is about, if you want your pleat to be about an inch or an inch and a half wide, then that's how much the fold underneath. See, there's the edge of the back right there, and I'm folding, see? Look, folding under, all right? And then I'm smoothing right there, folding under, and I think I've got my first one. Now take your pin and pin it, okay? Hold it down, all right? And you can do the sliding one, sliding method if you want, okay? Right there, good, okay? So now that you've got that down, make sure you like that, you like that. You can trim off this excess, but don't trim too much, just trim to the neckline, all right? So I'm gonna start from the back so you guys can see. So you guys can get rid of this. You don't really need it, but watch, okay? Just trim, 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 see? Okay, trim, trim, see? 
it kind of releases the tension too of your pleat, okay? So now we've got our first pleat down. Now, number two, pleat number two, okay? Start out here, fold, again, using your thumb and your forefinger, and then fold under. Just fold under, uh, I would say about fold about three quarters of an inch, okay? For that pleat, so fold under, you can do more if you want, all right? I like that, and then pin. Thank goodness you've got, see the red, the marking right there to guide you, all right? Okay, so you've got that, now continue the pleating, the draping. Get your fingers to do the walking, <laughs> to do the draping, and smooth it. Fold under very carefully, all right? And just go underneath until you like what is happening there. See, the smoothness, and I'm almost doing it on the double. So if my fold right there, the width is about an inch, I'm folding that much, okay? So I can do that, and then come around. See, you're coming around the side seam. Come around, come around, and fold, all right? And my center back pleats end up being a little bigger than an inch, about an inch and a half, all right? A little bigger right there, and so just take your fingers and just tuck it under, tuck it under, smooth it under, because sometimes you're going to find this, but that will eventually go away, all right? The neat thing about this is eventually this kind of ends up on the bias. See how the grain line is twisting a little bit? And so it ends up almost on the bias, all right? And we want that, okay? So now you've got this folded under here, and then pin, all right? So that's pleat number what? Two. Now we're ready for pleat number three, okay? Go to the front again, fold up, see, just like that, forefinger, thumb, and fold up, fold up. I like that, I'm doubling it, and we like that right there. So then, pin, right there, all right? Now, we're coming around the bust. We want to take our fingers to do the draping and then just tuck it in carefully. Don't rush it, all right? You wanna just be very careful when you're draping and you're putting your fingers under there, under there. All right, see how you're tucking all that in? Just tuck it in, tuck it in. Okay, and again, if this width is about an inch, you're folding under that much, okay? See, hi. It's in there, all right? So then come around the side seam, come around to the back, and then get your fold to be about that width, okay? So I said about an inch, an inch and a half for the center back. So then smooth that out, smooth that out, all right? And here we are, right there, okay? So we get to the center back, okay? And there, see? Right there? So now we've got our third pleat. Now we're ready for the fourth pleat, okay? Take this aside, fourth pleat now. Take this again, fold, see, fold, all right? Fold that, and now there's our fourth pleat. Take that, now I'm gonna pin that right back there so you guys can see better, see? There you are, one, two, three, four. Now, same thing, just rinse and repeat, or Fold and repeat, <laughs> all right? Go under with your forefinger and your thumb and drape and go underneath, fold, fold, okay? Fold and smooth, all right? Just keep folding and then take all this, do you see that? And that's gonna fold under. Just carefully fold it under, come to the side, all right? And it's gonna just naturally do what it wants it to do. Just keep folding, keep folding, See, I'm folding, I'm folding, and there I am. I'm getting to the back. Do you see that? All right, I've got my fold, I've got my pleats right there. And then if you want to just go back to fix that fold right there. Okay, that looks nice. Come to the center back and then pin. Now here's a time where you can fix some of this. See what's happening here? So then you can smooth it. See, go like that, wow, hey, okay. Do the same thing here, smooth it, repin. You can push some of this underneath, tuck it underneath, and then that really flattens it out and smooth, look at that, I mean seriously, okay? Look at that, all right. So now we're just going to smooth that out, smooth that a little more beautifully, all right. Pin right there, okay? And then now you can mark and cut. Let's cut first, okay? So this stuff, we don't like it, okay? So we're gonna cut this off 
right there. Okay, see? Hi. And then we're gonna cut the edge of this, okay? Just the edge, so watch. Let me do this this way so you guys can see better. Starting from the center back, right here, okay? Right at the edge of the last pleat, do you see? Do you see where I am? And go around, go around. There you go. All right, now once you've cut that, this is where you can kind of adjust because sometimes when you cut the drape, especially if it's on the bias, sometimes it just kind of pulls. So you can just smooth, smooth, adjust if you need to smooth a little bit right there. Look at that. Oh, honey, I'm even impressed. Wow, look at that. And then smooth, smooth. I think we're good, okay? Mm, we like it. All right. Now you can mark. So get your pencil or your Sharpie and mark. Start off with the neckline. So mark the neckline right there with a the broken mark. Make sure to mark your side seam. Notice the grain line. Remember that straight grain line I drew? The one that was like nine inches from the edge? Bias! See, it ends up just smoothing right there, okay? Which is good, we like that. And then mark the neckline, keep marking right there. Mark the center front, just like that, all right? Keep marking, keep marking. Okay, there we are. Really, really important. You need to mark where the pleat folds are. So see this one? Mark there and mark there. Why? Because it's gonna be so me to so me. Do you see that? It helps you, all right? It guides you. So do that where the fold is, right there, and then where it needs to kiss it so it knows where to go. Okay, so then just repin. Do that for all the pleats. There, 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 there. Okay, we like that. If you want, mark the edge right there. See, go underneath and then just mark the edge right there. Okay, just come around, come around, come around. All right, keep that pleat beautiful and nice. You can do that for the rest of the edge at the bottom. And then finally, center back. Mark your center back right there, and then don't forget where the pleats are, the folds. Sew me to sew me, or kiss me to kiss me, <laughs> okay? Got it? And now finally, a good cutting right at the edge. Leave the seam allowance, okay, right there, and then go here, like that. And I think we're good. Okay, there you go. So cut that out, cut another one, and you got the other side, and I mean, really. Okay, darling, here's your muslin sister. Say hi to her. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Fashion School with Nick Varios. Now y'all know what to do. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share, share, share. <laughs> and for more Nick tips and tricks, get my book, A Passion for Fashion. It's available on Amazon.com.